Well, we are following breaking news. Just after 8 o'clock this morning, a prisoner escaped from the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice building in downtown Detroit. Uh, it's been an ongoing saga. He stabbed a deputy who is now in the hospital. The prisoner is still on the loose. Fox 2's Roop Raj live with the latest details. The story, we keep getting more and more information, Roop. Yeah, and the latest information right now is that there is a, a, a difference between the name that he goes by and his actual name. Derek White is how we have known him all morning long, according to Detroit Police. His name, though, actually is Anthony Pearson, a.k.a. Derek White. Call him what you want. He's dangerous. And I want to show you a picture right now of what he looks like. You mentioned it. You said it. He was upstairs on the seventh floor, apparently overpowering an officer using a comb. He actually fastened a comb into a weapon, stabbing an on-duty deputy over and over again, a deputy who was transporting him from one part of a holding cell into the courtroom. It happened in the holding cell. Two other prisoners were watching when he started stabbing this deputy with a comb. That deputy was overcome. He then grabs his uniform, grabs the keys, goes out the door, acting as though he's a sheriff's deputy, uses the keys, gets in the elevator, comes out, and then carjacks a woman and takes that car a short ways away. Now, that woman is going to be okay. That sheriff deputy is going to be okay as well. In the meantime, though, He's still on the loose. And so the big question is, where is this man? Where is Abraham Pearson, a.k.a. Derek White? You saw his picture earlier, and right now, both sheriff and the chief want to know if anyone has information as his whereabouts. An individual escaped from uh, Frank Murphy Hall of Justice, uh, attacked a sheriff, uh, felonious assault that we know, took a uniform, exited the building, and carjacked the vehicle. In fact, the suspect was in custody for carjacking. Well, now that suspect, when he is caught, will be in custody for a lot more than just that carjacking that he was already here for. He is going to be facing some very serious charges, but the bottom line right now is they need to find this guy. And again, we want to show you his picture. We put it on our Fox 2 Facebook page. We've also put it on myfoxdetroit.com. If you get a minute to go peek at it, if you live in the city of Detroit, if you're in this area, you know, make sure you, you tweet it out, you Facebook it, do whatever you can to share this photo. He was last seen near a Tim Hortons, and that's where the car was dead over on Lafayette. He then ditched his uniform, ditched that car, that woman's okay, and then took off. That is the latest right here from outside of Frank Murphy Hall of Justice, Roop Raj, Fox 2 News. Roop, we know that courthouse is a very busy place, so if uh, you're a person you're watching, you know you have business at the court today, what should you know, what should you do? You know, it's a fluid situation. I can't tell you the jurors were let in a little while ago. Uh, as you can see, the line continues to form behind us. Right now, those are not employees. Employees are actually back inside the building. So employees and jurors are inside court proceedings, though. It depends on the judge, depends on the court. At this point, Maria Miller, uh, spokesperson, uh, says at this point, people are being allowed back in. But as you can see behind us, there's still a line. Uh, at the Bob Bashira trial, by the way, that Fox News Amy Lang was here to cover, and then she, of course, was covering this story instead with all of us. Uh, that is expected to go as planned, according to the judge who talked to Amy Lang on the phone. So it looks as though business will continue to roll as usual, but Q, wow, you know, this is a place where cases are adjudicated and it became a crime scene itself. So certainly not something they expect to hear or see any day.